Charles from Abysmal Dawn, and you're watching Wire. Like as a kid, the first song I heard that made me want to play guitar, it's not brutal at all, uh, was Johnny Be Good. I think I watched that m movie Back to the Future with my dad or something as a kid. And uh, I, I think it's a Chuck Berry song, but I don't know if that's a Chuck Berry rendition in the actual movie. But I just remember <laughs> playing guitar in that and thinking it was really cool. That's probably what inspired me initially to want to play guitar until, I, I don't know, maybe I heard like Pearl Jam or something like that, um, and Metallica for sure. So the first riff I learned on guitar, Metallica, Enter Sandman, and then I don't remember, it was Come As You Are by Nirvana, and uh, maybe just Smells Like Teen Spirit, you know, all the shit that they hate you playing at Guitar Center. <laughs> Smoke in the water or something, piss everyone off at the guitar center. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I basically learned, you know, the basis of heavy metal guitar playing from Metallica. And I had like a a book of basically a compilation of like all their, you know, best riffs, so to speak. And uh, I learned a lot from those. So yeah, it was like fucking. <laughs> Creepy Death, and that was one of my favorite songs, I think, growing up as a kid. Death and Sepultura, like, Beneath the Remains, stuff like that. Really fast, I always really admired the picking on the, on the, in Death and Sepultura. Um, like, Megadeth stuff, too, like, stuff off, of like, Rust and Peace. So, when I first started, uh, I did have a guitar teacher. His name was Greg Montanti, or Montanti. I, I've probably pronounced it wrong. It's been so many years. Um, he was like a session musician and big like fusion guy. I think he did like guitar on like Baywatch and stuff like that. Did a lot of TV um, stuff. And he he wasn't a metal guy, um, but he did have a joke metal band. It was called Scrap Metal. Um, that they did for fun in like the early 90s or something like that. Um, completely anon anonymously, I think, at the time. And this is before uh, what was Steel Panther, but it's very much the same, same vibe. I did also go to a Musicians Institute for a while and I was in their guitar program. Uh, and that was a cool experience. I guess at a certain point though, you know, I felt like I just wanted to play metal. Um, and you, they, they definitely teach you to be more of like a, I mean, like a jazz player, which is really cool, and I appreciate that. I didn't actually finish there, but I, I enjoyed my time there a lot. So, and I learned a good amount. I guess early on, I think I struggled with alternate picking a lot. Um, you know, I was, I was always pretty good, like a, like a guy. Um, but the whole like speed picking thing that really took a lot of practice and getting that under control. So yeah, but al alternate picking was probably like the technique that I struggled with the most. Uh, first solo I learned or attempted to learn, I think was uh, Alice in Chains, like Man in the Box. <laughs> I swear this part. Or at least I, something like that, you know? I just remember liking that. Really bluesy. So some of my favorite band riffs. I like this riff and service to their knees. Um, always always fun to play. Like Fun, dizzying kind of 
riff. The first riff I ever wrote for the band, I mean, there was a couple of songs. Um, the first song I think we wrote all to, like all together as a band was uh, a song called Solitude's Demise, if I remember right. That f- the first riff, I, if I can play it fucking correctly, since it's been forever, man, we haven't played these songs in forever, um, was this. <laughs> Some of my favorite riffs, I guess, on the new album. Um, I, I mean, some of the riffs I played before are on the new record, and they're probably my favorite. Some of my favorite riffs in general for Abysmal Dawn. But uh, I really like um, this riff and chorus evolution, or a couple succession. <laughs> There's this one too. I really like those riffs. They're fun to play. Um, there's another song called True to the Blind. Uh, this is a fun riff to play. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, I like that riff a lot. Also, on the, the new album, there's a song called Mundane Existence. And that's a fucking bitch of a song to play. Maybe I'll probably fuck it up right now, but I'll, let's try it. Right, we'll fuck. What was it? Fuck it. Fuck, how's it going? Ah, see, I already fucked it up. I've been in fucking quarantine for too long. It's a fucked up riff, man. It's like uh, this this technique of uh, kind of in the bass there and like bouncing between strings, basically. <laughs> um, it's it's an idea like I pretty much like borrowed from Buckethead um I never seen but he always used it, used it in a very like atonal like type of way and uh I never seen a band really uh do it in a like more melodic way so I got another riff um in Path of the the Path of the Totalitarian and that's a pretty fucked up one that I'm probably gonna fuck that up now too <laughs> Yeah, there's, so there's that. That's fun. Um, when we get to play that live, um, I'll be excited and worried at the same time. So. Something like that.